Drops back. They pick up the cornerback. Blitz pass going to be intercepted by Snowden. He snatches it out of the air and he's running. This is not what Charles Snowden envisioned when he dreamed of playing college athletics. Yeah, I mean, I grew up eat, sleep, drink basketball, wake up, work out, play pickup in the afternoon. I mean, summer league teams, winter high school. So, uh, yeah, basketball is a big part of my life. At six feet seven and 190 pounds, Charles thought his collegiate future lay in basketball. In fact, what he assumed was his final organized football game didn't end so well. I played JV football in my old school, but I'd, I remember crying after my JV football game because I was like, this is the last go for me for football. I'm all basketball from here on out. Charles rarely attended football games at St. Albans until one fateful evening his junior year. We had just got a new uh, football like stadium and new kind of facilities, and so it was kind of a big event. Everybody kind of came out, and we won the game by one point, so it was a good game, and so I kind of just got those jitters back and wanted to get back out there. At St. Albans, Snowden played wide receiver and defensive end. He also continued to play basketball and caught the eye of co-defensive coordinator Kelly Papinga, who had seen Zane Zandier play basketball also. Papinga said Zandier played basketball like a linebacker. However, his assessment of Snowden was a bit different. No, he did not play basketball like a linebacker. He played basketball like a power forward, like a, like a small forward, you know, so very fluid, very athletic. Uh, could run and jump and could dribble, and really good ball skills, really good shooter, uh, really a well-rounded uh, basketball player. But just it was his athleticism that he showed on the basketball court where I thought, man, we could really do some things with this guy as an outside linebacker. Upon arriving at Virginia, Charles quickly realized he'd have to morph his basketball body into a football one. Physically, I wasn't necessarily where I needed to be, nor do I think I am quite there yet. And so uh, I definitely saw that early on that I needed to pick that up. To this point, he's uh, make it, made the strides, and he hadn't to think to his credit, he uh, mentally has taken to the challenge to get bigger, to get stronger, to add weight to that frame, but to continue to keep his athleticism, his mobility, his versatility. He has also been the beneficiary of a teammate who has taken him under his wing. Peace, I worked with a lot more personally, and so he's done a lot for me from, from day one, honestly, kind of helping me out and uh, from what's, what it means in terms of being an outside linebacker from the field to the classroom, socially, uh, on the field, off the field, and so Peace has done a lot for me. And that assistance has resulted in early reps and dividends. He got reps last year that um, I would never take back. I mean, obviously he made a huge play in the Duke game to help us seal the win with a sack. Um, but man, he got reps as the season went on in the Pitt game, in the Georgia Tech game that uh, I, help, I think helped him prepare to know what college football is like and what he would have to do in the offseason to get himself ready to be a full-time ACC starter. And once again, to his credit, he's worked hard. He's put in the time, he's put in the effort. But beyond the skirmishes on the gridiron, Charles has discovered an area where battles of much more significance are taking place. I've been to the, uh, the Children's Hospital, uh, something we do on Fridays before games, a few of us. It means a lot to them that the team comes out and the parents because they're definitely going through battles that I couldn't envision going through. And so uh, that's one thing that I have a big goal of mine actually is to get more involved in the community and help out. Now with a sense of perspective and athletic drive, Snowden sees a dual opportunity ahead of him. My goal is here uh, definitely to win an ACC championship. Uh, that's probably my number one goal. And uh, beyond is just helping the world and changing the world, improving the world in any way that I possibly can.